Hey what's up guys welcome to another tutorial of PHP and MySQL series and in today's video I'm going to talk about PHP security. The PHP security is a topic that you can go as much deep as you want but in this video I'm going to teach you the basics of PHP security. I will give you some code snippets that you have to keep in mind those things when you will develop PHP applications. <music> First of all, I will create a new file here and I'm going to name this php underscore security dot php. Obviously, the second php is the file extension that we are using. First of all, I will create a php opening tag. And suppose you have a web application in which you are displaying a login form to your user where you have two inputs like username and password. If you are using direct PHP statements, maybe hacker can insert some code in those, those input fields and that code may be affect your database. Maybe it can delete all of your database. To avoid this, always when you try to build PHP applications, try to use prepare statements. Suppose here I'm going to type here like statement is equal to, I will type here PDO and here I will type for prepare inside this I have to type my query like select all from let me hide this one users where username equal to and then I will type here colon and here I will type username so this is the thing that we are saying here our username will be occurred and next I will press here semicolon and after this I will simply copy this variable name you can see that I don't have typed my username here or the data uh, from receiving my form and I don't have insert that data at this position uh, maybe you can type here like like you underscore name is equal to that data is coming from form post method user under username semicolon and here I will type this statement and then what I will do bind param and inside this function first of all I will copy this username so we are referring that in our query at this position just get our username that we are passing and here I will type like username I can copy this variable and paste at this position and semicolon and in the last what I have to do I have to type here statement and execute that's it so you can see that we have distinguished our query from the data that we are providing to our database. So by using this technique, you can avoid yourself from SQL injection. Uh, obviously, this is a big topic, but you should always use prepare statement in your queries when you build PHP applications. The next thing you have to try to avoid is cross site scripting. When you fetch data from database and try to print that data directly on the browser, you have to do something additional. Suppose we have this variable like username and we are getting data from in this variable from somewhere else like from a form or from our database. Currently, for example, I just have type here a post method like username and you can just imagine that this data is coming from our database and now you are direct, uh, you are printing you, you are going to print that data on your screen what you will do you will simply type here like welcome and here you will type for user name so you you need to do one extra step and that is pass this data from html special character function so I will type here like sanitized username is equal to HTML special characters and from this function I will pass my username like this and what it will do maybe your this data that is coming from database this can contain a JavaScript code and to av and if you will if you will comment this line and if you will directly try to print that data on your browser maybe that code will be executed or execute on your browser and it that code can do anything uh, with your with your user so you have to uh, use this function and maybe 
your this username contain any javascript code html special character will do it will convert or it will encode the that code in some way that this code will not be executable on user's browser so by using this technique you can avoid yourself from cross-site scripting the next thing about php security is when you allow your users to upload a specific file so first of all i will type here upload security file upload security maybe you have a form where you you are asking your user to upload his profile image what you can do here you can see that first of all i will create a variable like allowed extensions is equal to and then inside this i'm going to type some uh, popular image extensions like jpg jpeg and png so we are only going to allow our user to upload his image in these specific formats like maybe jpg png or jpeg and here if you are getting data from a form you can get file extension using this technique like file type is equal to we know that this is a super global variable that we have and this is used to get file information when user upload files and here i will type for like file this would be that in specific input name that you have write in your html form to choose a file from your user's computer and here i will do another thing like type so by using this you can get the type of uploaded file by user and after this what we can do i will display uh, i will type if statement here like if in array uh, file type and here i will type for like allowed extensions that what you have to do uh, file is valid process the upload so here you can see that what i'm going uh, what i'm doing here i'm just doing that's I only allow my user to upload files in these specific formats and here I'm just checking that if the file that is uploaded by user is JPG or PNG or JPEG uh, in array will check suppose user have PNG user is uploaded a file type like PNG so this file type PNG will be stored in our this variable and now we have this in underscore array PHP built-in function that get two parameters the first one is the string that the value that we want to search from an array and the second is array from which we want to search our data so it will check that either png exists in that specific array that we have defined at this position and if yes then this if will become condition will become true and our code to upload that file will be executed otherwise maybe user will try to upload another type of file maybe some xrr or something else this php code will check that this extension is not allowed to upload so by using this technique you can prevent uh, your program that this will not accept any other type of uh, files rather than what you have allowed the next technique you have to keep in mind is password storage and hashing when you will create php applications you will need to build login and sign up system in your applications so when you receive user password while he will sign up don't directly store that password in your database first of all just uh, encrypt that database using some hashing techniques that i'm going to teach you some old technique like uh here this is your user password is equal to like user have typed like one two three four five this is just dummy password and you don't have to directly save this password in your database you have to encrypt that password uh, suppose here uh, encrypt enc underscore password is equal to and here i just have typed md5 and from this we have to pass our password uh, you can use md5 uh, function or you can use sha1 or sha2 technique in php basically your this password will convert to some string like maybe 
after this converting let me echo this echo and pass and we have to open our zap and after this in our browser i will type for like localhost forward slash learn and php underscore security dot php okay there is an error we have to type here semicolon and now you can see that our password was 12345 but now it is converted to a string so this is a uh, some programming language algorithm that have convert our password to this type of string and the SHA1 and SHA2 these functions are more stronger than this you can also use those hashing techniques so now if your database will be hacked the hacker will usually unable to know that what password was uh, your user using I know that MD5 is old and there are some uh, uh, anti algorithms that are come to decrypt that but if the uh, the user password will be strong then still it will be your hacker or someone else will unable to hack that password uh, also the SHA1 and SHA2 techniques are better than MD5 you can also use that you can search on the YouTube that how to encrypt our password using uh, SHA1 or SHA2 and when uh, this is, is this technique you have to do when user will sign up you have to use your this password in your database now the question is how we will log in when your user will try to log in he will again type this password and suppose I will type here like if uh, password so suppose we have stored this password in our database and this time we are getting uh, this password when user try have trying to log in we are getting this password from database and is equal to what we will do we will again convert the user password when he will try to log in I I'm just type typing here like login password so in this password user will type one two three four five and md5 will convert that one two three four five password again to this string and we know that this string was available in this variable I mean in encrypted password and when user will try to log in we will again encrypt that password using md5 technique and if both password will be equal it means that user is typing same password while logging uh, and this if condition will become true and we can allow our user to log in another thing another thing you have to keep in mind is input validation so ignore the spelling mistake if I have made here so suppose you have an email that you are getting from your user using post method email and after this I will type here like if filter var this is a PHP built-in function you can, uh, in which you can pass filters the first parameter I will pass my email variable which contain user email and the second parameter would be our filter PHP built-in filter so I will type here like filter F I L T E R underscore validate underscore email and if user have typed email only this if condition will be executed and you can uh, type here like success and execute the next operation execute the next operation otherwise you have to display an error message to your user to please type right kind of information that you are expecting from your user so so make sure to validate data from your user and uh, here you can see that I'm there are many PHP filters available to validate different types of data you can also search from on, on the internet so when you get input from the users always try to validate that data before doing any operations okay friends these were some techniques uh, you should must use when you build PHP applications and never think that your PHP program is secure none of the application in the world is completely 100% secure uh, there will be loopholes and you have to learn about the uh, security of your web applications or maybe any other application if you are building and always learn more about security learn about cyber security and learn techniques regularly 
to make your application more secure. As more you learn, as more you implement these methods in your applications, the more you will able to secure your applications. So friends, let me know in the comment section if you like this video and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn uh, website development. And finally, thanks for watching.